Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2024 Bowman Baseball. Jumbo edition, four box, half case, pick your team number one. Very big thanks to this group for getting in on it. Here on Monday the 27th, thanks for uh, spending a bit of your Memorial Day weekend with me, appreciate you. Congrats to the people who won their way in that capstone pack, number 219. Jeremy Port, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo with the Mariners before we pulled the remaining teams. And everyone on this list, you're part of the promo. In fact, the second half of the case closes out the promo. We're down to one team left, and that's the Nationals. So we can give away that money. Uh, the deadline's end of show tonight. and I think we're going to do it well before that deadline, so... Hopefully someone will grab that team after this. I don't want to have to create a filler for the Nationals because that's uh, that's another 30 spots on the promo list. I'm trying to make your odds as good as possible. All right, so we got four boxes on the left side, four boxes on the right side. I'm gonna roll the die, one, two, three for the left side, and then four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. So this side we will save for break two. And I'll mark those two, or kind of my twos kind of look like a Z if I'm writing with a Sharpie at that angle, but you get it. Set that right there. Put the list right over here. As some of you may remember, in 2024 Bowman Baseball, our kind of key prospect, key player list um, is Aiden Miller for the Phillies, Arjun Namala for the Blue Jays, Brock Wilkin Brewers, Dylan Cruz obviously for the Nationals, Greg Lombard Jr. for the Yankees, Kyle Teal, Red Sox, Luis Baez, uh, Astros, Walker Jenkins, Minnesota, and uh, oh, and Nationals have two players on this list. That's Yohandi Morales. As well, two rookies were taken care of as well. Ellie De La Cruz for the Reds, and uh, Yamamoto, Yoshinobu Yamamoto for the Dodgers. All right, I think we we got some baseball action happening today. I think. On a Monday, on a Memorial Day, the Dodgers Mets game got rained out. Nationals beat the Braves eight to four. CJ Abrams with a solo shot. Do I do I regret sitting Mitchell Parker on my fantasy team? Let's take a look at the box score. Uh, hmm, mixed. He went six and a third, three earned runs, six strikeouts. Uh, Reds beat the Cardinals in Cincinnati, 3-1. to one. Looks like Jimer Candelario had a home run. Rockies, uh, Cleveland, the Guardians are in Colorado. Rockies beat the Guardians 8-6. to six. Brewers beat the Cubs 5-1. to one. I did start Justin Steele. Did he give up runs? He was having a good day. He did not. Of course, the the uh, the Cubs bullpen, of course, letting the starters down. But Justin Seal went seven innings, zero earned runs, eight strikeouts, which is probably his his best performance of of the season. I think game one he went down with a hamstring injury, knocked him out for like a month and a half, and had some mixed starts here and there. But I think. This might be the game that puts them back on the on the right track. In Chicago, Blue Jays beat the White Sox five to one. Twins beat the Royals six to five. Trevor Larnock had a 441 foot home run. And uh, the Orioles cruised against the Red Sox. They beat them 11 to three. And then we got some games in progress we'll talk about it in the next box. All right, good luck, everybody. Ooh, 
Darren noticed some spotlight. Those spotlight cards are pretty cool. We got Miles Naylor. Remember these green ones? Not numbered. All card chip though. There's a Brock Wilkin paper. Aiden Miller. Luis Angel Acuna, Ronald's brother to 299. Terrible, terrible news about Ronald Acuna Jr. last night out for the season. Did his other knee. So Luis Baez for Aaron and the Astros. There's a Yamamoto. And here's our first auto. Troy, uh, Tony Blanco Jr. Not Troy. 145 out of 299. Speckle auto for the Buccos, Pirates, Patrick with the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's a paper Lombard Jr. Obvious if I miss any of these, uh, the key players, our sorting and shipping team will be able to fish those out of the pack more often than not. And nice, Brock Wilkin, Brew Crew. It's Darren with the Brewers. Darren McKenzie got into the filler, got randomized the Brewers. Congrats, gets a nice autograph here. Right. Brewers first rounder. Paper Aiden Miller. And the paper Aiden Miller and among others will go to the other Darren, Darren Porter, the Porter House State. Scattering these cards all around here. Alright, next little stack. There's a Morales. Green paper, Daniel Susak. 300 out of 399. Michael Brinson with the A's. Cliff with the Nationals, you'll get all these Moraleses and maybe we'll find some, some color, some parallels of him and his future teammate. Dylan Cruz, let's see if we can find him as well. College golf, men's college golf on the background. I'm waiting for the hoops to start in about half an hour or so. There's Nelly Della Cruz. The Arjun will go to Tristan in Toronto. Ellie will go to Kenneth and the Red Legs. And there's Homer Bush Jr. to 125 in that lunar pattern. Going to Jeremy Port and the Padres. There's another Ellie right here. I kind of like that insert. Paper Aiden 
Paper Walker Jenkins. It'll go to Tristan and the Twins. Chrome Arjun Namala for Toronto. We've got Ralphie Velasquez in an autograph behind him. This is for the Guardians. That's to two ninety nine. Bottom right hand corner, kind of hiding amongst the speckle. That'll be for Cleveland. This is for you. That'll be for Victor. And here is Barrett Kent. For the Halos, that's going to go to Craig, who won the Angels in the filler. Yeah, that AI insert does look pretty pretty cool. Yeah, one of the cooler ones. The nicer looking ones this year looks pretty sharp. Can those be autographed? I don't know if I've seen an autographed version of that. So Luis Baez for Houston and a Walker Jenkins, both chrome. Tristan with the Twins. Aaron with the Astros. All three autos are out. Let's see if we can find a little more color here. Those are Kyle Teal. Those will go to Joe Lawson in Boston. There's a Dylan Cruz right there for Clifford. I'll do a little autograph recap at the end. Box two of four coming up. Oh, there's a pinball looking one too. You can look out for those. Um, games in progress. We're in the eighth inning in San Francisco. Giants are leading the Phillies eight to four. The Phillies on a little bit of a slump. And then, uh, still pretty early in this game, top of the fourth, Marlins and Padres tied at one. And then the late game is Astros at Mariners. Starting it's Framber Valdez and Bryce Miller. We'll be starting that late game. I think it's on, on MLB Network. Corbin Burns is a Miles Naylor, purple Ray Wave. Nice, 59 out of 250. A sharp looking card for Michael. Michael B. Jackson Holiday, Mini Diamonds. Bowman AI Mini Diamonds. 005 out of 150, it looks like. 
Nice. That's going to be for Eugene and the Orioles. He'll bounce back. He'll be fine. Oh, Mariners brought up Ryan Bliss with Polanco to the injured list. There's an Ellie Della Cruz. Might seal 100 bases this year. That'll go to Kenneth and the Reds. There's a Nadalis Garcia, and behind him is a Rolfi Cruz auto for Eugene and the Orioles. Won the Orioles in the in the filler. Nadalis Garcia, purple paper for Jeremy and the Rangers. Kyle Teal for Boston. It's going to go to Joe, Joe Lawson. Two more autographs here, second stack. Jack Hurley. There's an Arjun for Toronto paper. Jenkins will go to the Twins. That'll be for Tristan and the Twins. And Cesar Quintas, 160 out of 250 for the Giants. That's going to be for Nick, Nick Coba and San Francisco. We're still ahead of the Phillies, eight to four. Per paper, Aiden Miller. And, uh, Chrome, Yandi Morales, which will go to Cliff. The paper, Aiden, will go to the Porterhouse Stake. Should be one more auto. There's a Bowman AI, George Lombard Jr. Luis Baez paper for Aaron and the Astros. Yamamoto, Ellie Dela Cruz. And what do we got here? Nice, a David Guzman. 16 out of 50. Nice gold for uh, Tristan and Toronto. Yeah, he's going to be kicking himself. He's, he's wasted some opportunities. I mean, he does have a lead, but what could have been? Nice. George Lombard Jr. paper. Those will all go to uh, all go to the Yankees. Tim with the Yankees. Try to find some ink of these guys. And uh, Evan Carter paper to 499 for Texas. That's going to be for Jeremy Port. The Arjun Bowman AI will go to Tristan in Toronto. 
And the last little bit here. All right. Box three of four. One of the one of the little more warmer days of the year this year in Hermosa Beach. What else is happening in baseball? Yeah, the Dodgers Mets game postponed. They'll do a doubleheader tomorrow, it looks like. Um Shohei Otani, throwing a little bit here. While Otani has remained one of the most productive in his majors this season, this is from an ESPN article by Jorge Castillo, he continues to making progress in his recovery to getting back on the mound after Tommy John surgery. The Dodgers superstar said he started throwing from 60 feet last week and reached 80 miles per hour. Just progressively increasing the distance, Otani said through an interpreter. Usually anywhere from 60 to 70 pitches in that distance, just continuing to increase the distance and the pitches and just seeing where that goes. I'm not quite sure how far I'm going to go out there, but that's the progression. Yeah, he had elbow surgery last September when he was an angel after going 10 and 5, 3, 1, 4 ERA, 167 Ks and 132 innings. Can Otani, is Otani in the run for, I, I think this year might be the, might be one of the best chances for him to get a triple crown. Could he do it? Of course he could do it. Anyone actually think he, thinks he can do it? So right now in the National League, he leads the league in average, 336. Betts and Arias are right behind him at 335. He's a couple homers shy of Marcelo Zuna. He has 15. Harper Otani had 13. Oh, and RBIs. And then uh, that's where Otani has to catch up. Ozuna has 47 RBIs. How about Alec Bohm, who also has 47 RBIs in the end? Otani has 35. That's a healthy number, but. But obviously, he's got a ways to go. You know who's screwing him? Are those uh, seven, eight, nine hitters for the Dodgers who have been a, a bit of a black hole. And the Dodgers offense right now, a little top heavy, so. Which is a little mildly concerning. There's Brooks Lee, 002 out of 125, because those are the those are the players, those are the players that you need, um, you know, to win playoff games, right? Now that he's not betting on sports, I don't think he was ever tied to betting. But I guess once that story goes out, you can't you can't undo it. Everyone's just gonna think, oh yeah, Otani's betting. Even though I don't think he's done anything like that. Uh, Stanley Consuerga, Consuegra, Consuegra, jams me up a little bit. There's Arjun Namala, Toronto. Walker Jenkins. Yeah, I don't think Otani bet on sports at all. But he had to have known, right? Although, I mean, athletes, just because they're good at playing sports doesn't mean they're, they're fiscally smart. There's 004 out of 125, Samuel Zavala, Jeremy Port in the Padres. Right, 
Well, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's, how, that's how rich people think. You think Jeff Bezos is looking at his, uh, his checking account every day, you know, seeing what the plus and minuses are on his, uh, in his B of A checking account? I don't think so. You know, so he's got a team of people that says, you know, hey, you, you take care of it. But, but yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess the, I mean, think about it. I mean, it's just like, you're a foreigner in a foreign country. You trust this guy to, to not only translate for you, but kind of, kind of help you out setting up bank accounts and stuff like that. While you try to focus on a sport, I could see where someone could take advantage of that, you know. And this has happened to it's not just because he's foreign; too, it just happens to athletes a lot. You can go go through a list of history of how many people who've had their business manager swindle them, have uh, you know get into bad business deals, you know, all sorts of stuff. You know, and then you've got people on your team, sh you know, shaving money, putting money in and out. And I mean, Otani's interpreter even impersonated Otani. I mean, you know. And then what are you going to do when your legal team is like, they don't speak Japanese, right? Matt Corvath to 499. And his interpreter who speaks for Otani is like, yeah, you know what? He told me to take care of it. That's what he said. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they should they should have followed up. But I mean, he called he called banks, authorizing transfers, pretending he was Otani. What's the bank gonna do? Some guy calls up and speaking Japanese and has all of personal Otani information. Yeah, here's, here's my here's my checking account. Yeah, here's my passcode. You know, and you've 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 probably had all the notifications from your phone and he did you did you authorize this million dollar wire transfer those notifications aren't probably going to to eBay's bank account it's a wild story there I think there's gonna be I think there's already talks about a a mini series being produced about this it's gonna be a fun it's gonna be a fun watch, kind of seeing how all that unfolded. You know, part of me think does think though, it's like, man, how you know, how are there no like suspicions raised? But you know, I think, I think you, for 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 you and I, suspicions would be raised. Even if you're in business with with some business partners, you're always. You know, you always have to be be sharp. But when you're a pro athlete and all you're doing is you're just focusing on, you know, you have to be intensely focused on this game. That's going to be your career. Yeah, you you, you defer some responsibilities to others, and then nice Dylan Cruz and a Kyle Teal right behind him, three ninety seven at three ninety nine. Dylan Cruz lava. That's going to go to Clifford. Nice. Of course, your second overall pick, right behind his former teammate Paul Skeens. And then we got a Kyle Teal, Joe Lawson with the Red Sox. Pulling some key players here. 14th overall. Nice. Yeah, how does a bank dealing with a million? Right. I guess it could happen. You know, and especially when some guys, I mean, how, it's kind of, how do you, not in the banking world, so I don't know, but how, how do you plan against that? I mean, he impersonated Otani. What's like the check on, like, and if all the verification stuff and notification stuff, he changed, 
Ipe changed, his interpreter changed. So it's not like Otani would, even if you did have someone who speaks Japanese, how do you verify against that, short of meeting the person, meeting someone in person? I guess maybe that would be that would be the security check that banks may have to think about now. If you're going to move that much money, you have to come into the bank, do it in person. Yeah, you would think, right, exactly. Yeah, my bank yells at me when I'm like in Vegas trying to pull more than more than the limit. But I mean, if, if, if but then, then you have to think about how deep the, the impersonation, if he has all the, if he has all the private info, the, the, the passwords, the security codes, the security questions, and you're speaking in fluent Japanese and you're answering all the questions correctly, you know, maybe you're like, yeah, sorry, Mr. Otani, I know you, you, it's a busy day for you. It's in the middle of the season. We'll take care of it right away. You're a VIP customer, right? If you're the bank that has, has Otani's money? VIP? Sure, sir. You don't have to come in at all. Have a great game. You know, have a great game. We're sorry to... Yeah, exactly. They want to keep him happy, Victor. Exactly. Yes, sir. Thank you for verifying all the information. Obviously, we just want to make sure it's correct. Well, no. So, there must have been someone who speaks Japanese. Now that I think about it, Victor. Because... His interpreter was, uh, was impersonating Otani. So there must have been someone at Japanese. And it's like, oh, yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're on the same page here, Victor. You know, they're, uh, yes, sir, you don't have to come in. Th thank you for verifying, you know, you, you know your, your personal info. Just want to verify it's you. Thanks. Have a great game. You know, yeah, we'll get that transfer done right away. You know, it's, it's not the bank's job to be like, who are you transferring this to? You know, why are you transferring millions to some random dude in Orange County? Yeah, banks don't want to lose that guy's business. But that's how that's how professional athletes can get screwed because, again, you know, obviously, if you're a pro athlete, especially at a high level, you know, you're not thinking about bank accounts and paying the power bill. You know, I think he was. I think I think that was the story. I think he, the interpreter, kind of got to a point where, where he not only interpreted uh, or where he not only um, made himself out to be Otani, impersonated Otani, but also probably was his authorized agent on that account anyway. I mean, all right, here's another Dylan, crazy story. Another Dylan Cruz final box, folks. I think um, this whole sports betting bookie thing, I think also loosely relates to I think Yasiel Puig and his betting stuff did did you guys hear remember Angels infielder David Fletcher I want to say I think it was David Fletcher I think he had made some mention there's Ben Williamson Seattle that's going to go to Jeremy last spot mojo I think it was David Fletcher who also said he used the same bookie or something like that on a podcast and now he's being investigated
And nice Diego Cartaya. One out of 50. Number 39 on the Bowman Top 100. Kevin and the Dodgers. I feel like he's been struggling a, a little bit in the last season or two, but I think he's still pretty young, still has a, still has a high ceiling. I think the new interpreter um, has all has all previously been with the Dodgers for a while. I think he's he, I think he's been on staff as as a I think it, maybe in the front office or the coaching side of things or something like that for for many years. So I think and, and he so I think he's gonna be. I think he's okay. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. I mean, sports betting is so so easy these days. Maybe too easy, but that's a different discussion. But yeah, there's. Why are you using a Why are you using a book? But I guess. You know, in the case of the interpreter, the Otani's interpreter, Ipe, like, I don't know the, you know, I don't know, you know, when you have an addiction like that. 85 out of 250, that's Augustine Ramirez for the Yankees. That'll be for Tim. But, you know, that's a whole different thing. That addiction. You know, you're not thinking about waiting until you're in a state that has a uh, has gambling. You're like, you got to do it now. Aiden Miller paper legal plays might have been asking. Yeah, you know that's the that's the other thing is that so the money that went to these bookies, the bookies would go to Vegas and play a ton and kind of just wash the money that way. There's Jordan Walker to 250, purple paper. But there are checks in place at major resort casinos that are, I think by law, are required to like investigate or report something like that, stuff like that. If, if there's like, you know, someone just wanders in with millions of dollars, you know, but obviously a lot of, you know, it's a competitive industry. So I think a lot of people aren't turning away that business. So I think there's some layers on the casino side in Vegas. There, there, there might be some, some, uh, some trouble there for some people. A lot of layers there. We'll see how we'll see how it all pans out. There's Jernish Valdez to 175, but what a preseason story, right? Like, or I guess in season, the Dodgers were in Korea when the story broke, playing regular season games. But there's Estuar Suero, 386 out of 499, refractor autograph for the Pirates. That'll be for Patrick. But definitely not on, in terms of players, you know, if you were playing uh, players getting in legal trouble this season. I don't know if, or being close to, or part of something like, yeah, I don't think that was on my bingo card that Otani's interpreter would be accused of swindling millions off of him. You know, golfer Scotty Scheffler getting arrested and being charged with, uh, with felonies. Also not on my bingo card. All right, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That was four box, pick your team, number one.
Pretty nice rig. The Kyle Teal, the Dylan Cruz was really cool. A lot of color, a lot of good autographs. Brock Wilkin, the Diego Cartaya, Ben Williamson. A lot of great stuff here, boys and girls. I'm Joe, and I will see you next time. Well, I think there's, let me just check. The next half sold out. So we'll see you in the next video for that. I'm Joe, jazbeescaserace.com. Bye-bye.